All right, guys, now I know I haven't done a video for a while, so I wanted to get another one up and do a really quick one today. And this is actually a video that I've had a few requests for, an updated room tour. I think my last one was 2011, the last kind of tour of my setup that I did was. And as you can tell from this brief overview of the room, there are uh, a lot more, well, as my girlfriend likes to call it, clutter. Or as I like to call it, cool gadgets in here now. So uh, I thought I'd just give you a little tour and an overview of my current setup. Uh, recording this in August 2013. So, as you can see, I've got two desks in here. So we'll start on this one here. I've got an Xbox 360 uh, Slim model with the black wireless controller. Uh, also hooked in there as well, I've got a, uh, a wireless headset as well. Um, which obviously is for gaming and also is for media as well, watching Netflix and that kind of thing when I'm in here. And uh, that's hooked up to this Samsung 22-inch HDTV. Now, I do get a lot of people asking me, what's the model number of that TV? It's one of the most common inbox questions I get, so there you go. It's a Samsung SyncMaster 225MW, and it's got pretty much any input you can imagine, everything from S-Video to composite to uh, HDMI, which is good for the Xbox 360. On top of that, we've got a Logitech 720p webcam. I'll get back to uh, why I use that in a moment. Uh, Speaker-wise on here, not amazing speakers, but they do the job. Um, I've got some Logitech speakers with a nice beefy subwoofer there. On top of that, a zip stick joystick and the volume control for the speakers. Down onto the desk itself. Now, this dust cover here for my Amiga 1200 was actually made by my girlfriend, who's quite into uh, crafts and knitting and everything, so... She did that kind of quick rendition of the Commodore logo. And the reason I put a dust cover on it is because there's a window right there and ultraviolet light tends to make white electronics go a weird kind of nasty shade of yellow. So underneath there, we've got my shiny white Amiga 1200. Hooked into that, I've got an IDE CD-ROM drive. A bit of a hack job, really. It's uh, It's got a little power supply, as you can see there, and that plugs into the mains. And then we've got an IDE cable that I feed through the side of the Amiga 1200's case into a fast uh, IDE, I think it's called. Uh, connector inside, so this you can basically split your internal ID connection into two for the compact flash card and the CD or DVD-ROM drive actually. Uh, also got an Ethernet PCMCIA adapter, so I can get the Amiga 1200 online. Um, there's the Amiga's mouse. Next to it, I've got a 19-inch CRT SVGA monitor. Now, uh, this is actually quite a recent monitor. It was only made in about 2005, I think it was, and actually suffered quite a bit of cash then. It is a CRT, so it's got one of those, uh, you know, big backs on it, as opposed to this. Uh, but for the Amiga, I connect the Amiga up to this using an Indivision AGA, as uh, I think the Amiga looks a lot nicer on a CRT than it does on a LCD. And this kind of setup here means that I can, you know, I can be working on my Amiga um, using the Amiga on that display, but also on this one, I can either have the Xbox uh, streaming Netflix, for example, or I can use this old PC that I've got under the table. So uh, this is a Pentium 4 Windows XP machine with uh, two gigabytes of RAM, and you know I can use that for watching YouTube or um, there's various other things I use it for as well. But you know it's a bit beyond the scope of this video. But it means I can watch YouTube, for example, on that while I'm working on the Amiga on this display. Now there are some times I might want the uh, the PC displayed on the CRT. If I'm watching, for example, I've been watching The X-Files recently, which is an old uh, TV show from the 90s, and obviously that was filmed in 4x3, and it looks a bit shit on the widescreen. So I've been watching it on this, and I've actually got a little monitor switcher down there. So uh, input B is the Amiga, and A will give me the PC that's under the table. So that's a really quick and efficient way of doing it, rather than swapping over cables and everything. Uh, under here, it's a bit of a mess. You'll have to excuse uh, the clutter down here. An extension lead there. I'm not great at cable management. Um, there's an Ethernet switch around there somewhere. <laughs> Though I can't exactly see where it's gone. It is lurking, probably under here somewhere. Uh, we've also got an old Canon bubble jet printer that is hooked up to the Amiga here. Um, so if we ever want to do you know, a quick print out of a script or whatever, or even writing a letter, this is really the printer that I use. I have got a, uh, a Canon print scanner, but I hardly ever use it, to be honest. This is a bit easier. Uh, there's a wireless keyboard there for the PC2. And I think that's probably everything on that desk, so we'll move over to here now. Um, this is the main desk itself, so we've got three Acer 22-inch uh, monitors on here. Um, I'll give you a little tour of the corner first of all. We've got Barocca, that is essential for me every morning. Uh, my daily vitamins, always gives me a little nice kick in the mornings there. 
uh, a Competition Pro USB joystick that doesn't get a lot of use, but it's hooked into my PC under the table. Uh, an old classic iPod, 120 gigabytes, I think that one is. A lot of space on it anyway. Some business cards there. Um, my iPhone earbuds, the most recent Apple ones. Uh, we've got some of the last generation ones as well. I think about 60 quid when I bought them. Uh, an original, old school, 2001 iPod there. That I probably might do a video on soon, actually. That was the first ever iPod, and the wheel actually spins around on it. Still use it from time to time. Uh, here is a knitted creeper from Minecraft that the, uh, the missus made for me. So he kind of just watches me. Uh, got some speakers here. I'm not sure, I think these are Logitech as well. Yeah, they are actually. Logitech speakers too. Hooked into them is some Sennheiser HD25 Mark IIs. Um, I've had these headphones for a long time. I think I bought them back in around 2001, 2002. Used to use them for when I was a club DJ. Um, I don't do a lot of it anymore, but they're really good for working on audio projects, which you can see I'm on with right now. I've uh, got a Dell keyboard here. Uh, with some nice media controls on, had this years. It's actually the second one I've had, but you know, I do look quite like that keyboard. Uh, on this screen here, it's got an Excel document open at the moment, or Google Docs actually. Uh, Adobe Audition on here where I'm doing a bit of audio editing. This is a Windows 8 PC, so if I hit that, you will see the Metro interface. And before everyone groans at me, I hardly ever see that actually. I've actually got something called Start 8 installed on here, so if I can move the mouse over. You can see it kind of gives you like a start menu replacement and it boots straight into desktop mode as well so uh, I never really have to see that yucky metro thing. And I quite like the uh, desktop mode of Windows 8, it's kind of like Windows 7 but with a few nice enhancements. Uh, I've got an Audio Technica 8020 uh, 2020 microphone I think that one's called. Um, nice little USB mic that I use for you know when I do podcasting and videos I may record and Skype conversations. Uh, a little lamp behind there, a subwoofer for the speakers back there with some CD-ROMs on top of it, um, radio for my car, the front of it there, Sony one, with uh, a USB input, which is quite good for listening to MP3s, you know, podcasts and that, and I'm driving around, there's car keys there. Uh, we've got a Commodore mouse mat here, which is quite nice, nice big Commodore mouse mat, with an Apple Mighty Mouse on it, and an Apple Slimline keyboard. Now, I've covered this in videos before, the reason I like it for my Amiga machine, next-gen Amiga machines, is that it has no Windows keys on, so that's kind of cool. Uh, Showing at the moment, we've got Morph OS version 3.2, I think we're on there, uh, with Wookie Chat open. I'm regularly on IRC during the day, so when I'm working over here, um, you know, I always kind of keep an eye on a few uh, IRC channels, few Amiga ones, few technology ones, so, you know, gives you a bit of company during the day when you're hard at work, I do a lot of work from home. And on the back of this screen, I've got an, it's up onto the back of the monitor, an Acer little mini PC that kind of just hooks in um, and Veriton I think that model is that runs um, Linux at the moment so I've got a little Linux rig with a KVM switch to display on this monitor over here if we move along a bit more I've got my Philips CM8833 uh, video RGB monitor CRT hooked up to my Commodore 64 that I've done videos on with an SD card reader there it's an SD2 IEC and a Commodore 1541 floppy disk drive hooked into that too. Uh, there's also a wireless mouse here as well. That is for that PC under the table that I mentioned before. Uh, if we go under the desk, <laughs> hoping it's not too messy under here. I haven't checked before I've done the video. Uh, yeah, another mass of cables. As I mentioned, I'm not great at cable management. I really need to get better at that. Uh, so we've got my Amiga 1 tower. That's still kicking, uh, running Amiga OS 4.1. I don't actually use it all that much these days, actually. I tend to use my Mac Mini. Um, fully CD-ROMs off the top of it with Morph OS a little bit more uh, than I do my Amiga for several reasons it's uh, you know it's quieter it uses a lot less power I think it uses about 60 watts this machine so it's probably about the same as that light that I've got up there um, so it's completely silent when it's running and also Morph OS is a bit more uh, advanced and stable anyway I mean my Amiga one gets a bit of use but this tends to be the main machine that I'm using these days a uh, bunch of multi blocks down there all hooked into the wall over there um, what else? We've got a few boxes under here. Now, these are Input Magazine and they'll program a magazine from the 80s. I'm going to be doing a few videos on soon. Uh, the Xbox 360 box. A Commodore box there that's got a, uh, another Commodore disk drive in. An Ouya box. Um, some CD-ROMs there and that's a Commodore Plus 4 joystick there. So, this is kind of just crap that you know I can't really fit anywhere else and it kind of hides under the desk here. Uh, here is my PC tower. Now this is a Core i7 uh, PC. Graphics card's not all that strong in it. It's only a uh, NVIDIA GTX 8800 
um, 8800, however you pronounce that, from 2008. I mean, it runs the kind of games I play. I'm not a big PC gamer, but you know, I've got, you see Minecraft up there in my uh, rocket dock. So I do play that from time to time. So the graphics card's fine for that. I'm watching HD videos. Does a job, I use it as a media server as well. On top of that, we've got a, uh, a card reader and my Western Digital hard disk died, uh, died recently, so I got a little replacement. 500 gigabytes that I use for backing up music and stuff. Uh, also here we've got an FM transmitter. Now, that's a lie there because it gives it good signal. Uh, well, I'll show you that in operation a bit later if you like. Um, we've got a few drawers here as well underneath the big CRT monitor with various just wires and also some old consoles in there. Uh, an N64 in there, we've got a, uh, here's a PS1 in there and a Sega Saturn in that one there uh, with a Mega Drive underneath it at the back, if you can make that out. Uh, an Amiga CD32 in there. Uh, so we've got a few consoles in there, there's more in my cupboard over here as well. And that big basket full of crap. My girlfriend in the morning tends to get ready in this mirror here, so that's a hair dryer and hair straighteners and all that girly stuff. Um, my iPhone here as well, I've got an iPhone 5, latest version of it, running iOS 7, um, beta version, so very nice phone. I've always been an iPhone fan, and I've got comments going, oh, go Android, but you know, to be fair, I've always quite liked using iOS. Um, so when I'm sitting here gaming as well, I often use that little camera up there for Skype conversations. So that's another thing that I use a PC down there for. I can have a full uh, Skype window on that screen there, be gaming on there, and you know have a conversation with whoever I'm gaming with, which is quite cool. So that's kind of everything for my uh, man den. I'll take you into the living room and you can see my home theatre setup. All right, so I'll take you into the living room now as we walk in. Um, we've got a Nexus 7 tablet there. That's my girlfriend's. Google tablet there, uh, running Android. Here is my iPad 3. I've actually got a, I'll take this out of here, I'll show you quickly. Little um, Bluetooth keyboard for it as well, which is quite nice. It's very hard doing all this one-handed. Bear with me. There we go. I'll find it the right way around. So we've got this um, keyboard here that I can just dock the iPad in. Then you can use it like a mini laptop. If you want to write documents and things, it's kind of cool. So we'll turn that off for now, I'm not going to use it at the moment. Uh, a few controllers on here, we've got a, uh, a wireless mouse that is hooked up to a Raspberry Pi that's over there uh, that we use for watching videos and things, I'll talk more about that in a minute. A PS3 wireless controller, an Xbox a rigid, a 360 wireless controller, uh, a sort of remote control, Sky Plus HD, the TV, uh, PlayStation Media Remote, a Commodore CD TV remote there. I do need an all-in-one remote, my old one died, so I need another one of those to uh, replace a lot of those. Moving over here, uh, it's actually an internet radio there, uh, a Pioneer internet radio, um, also does DAB and MP3 and everything as well. Um, I've got a wire hooked into my CD TV down there to listen to CDs on it sometimes as well, so there's a remote for that. That's quite nice to have music on if I'm ever gaming in here. Uh, moving down, we've got the Sega Dreamcast on the front here, still one of my all-time favorite consoles. Love the Dreamcast. So that was pride of place right here in my living room, permanently set up. Behind it, the uh, GameCube, that is probably my favorite Nintendo console. Good for a bit of Mario Sunshine and games like that. Uh, my original Xbox 360 still lives in here. Uh, it's actually a launch model from back in 2007. It's actually, and I've had a few replacements from Microsoft in its early days, but it's been kicking over quite well since about, you know, late 2008 now. Still going fine, so. I leave this one in here and the new one in my uh, my other room. Some LG surround sound speakers. It's 5.1 uh, surround sound. Some candles. When you live with a woman, you get used to having a lot of these around your house. Uh, the Last of Us, which I've been playing quite a lot recently. Um, that's on here because I've been playing it on the PS3. Brilliant game. Highly recommend it. Uh, we've got a 50-inch um, Samsung plasma screen TV there. That I think was in my last video. I've had it a few years now. Still going strong. Um, a Kinect that is hooked up to my Xbox 360. Doesn't get a lot of use really, but you know, when I have people around or family visiting, we often have a few uh, games of Kinect bowling or something. I don't really use it all that often, to be fair. I've also got um, an Xbox 360 HD DVD drive as well, which I'm probably going to do a video on that soon, because it's kind of a bit rare and exotic these days, isn't it? So I actually got that when it was expensive. Back the wrong horse originally, but you know, I've still got a bunch of HD DVDs, as you can see. So uh, I need to get around to ripping them to um, MKV format, really, one of these days. But for now, you know, there's still some films that I do like to watch on HD DVD. A few Blu-rays in there as well. 
Um, got a lot more over there in the corner of the room. Some games over here that are in a separate... <laughs> I think Sim running out of room. This needs tidying up. Originally just had the horizontal ones and I've gone and dumped a few uh, at the top there as well. The vertical ones originally and a few uh, at the top there now. So uh, yeah, not looking the tidiest at the moment. A few PS3 games there. I'm going to give you a quick overview. Uh, Kinect Star Wars, Active 2. It's kind of a gym workout game for the Kinect. Paid 80 quid for that, used it once. Uh, Kinect Adventures, Crisis 2, Fear 2, Crackdown, Bioshock. You can see a little overview there. Some of the games I've got. My mum got me that for Christmas. Family Guy game, it is dreadful. Uh, Far Cry 2, Halo Reach. Original Halo for Xbox One there. Um, this little pile is here. Halo 4's there. Uh, Grand, Grand Theft Auto, Vice City. Dead or Alive. A few PS3 games down here. Now I do have most of the Call of Duties, I must admit. The only one I really ever play is uh, Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2. Got a bit bored of the series after that, so even though I've got like, you know, Black Ops and stuff. Um, and Black Ops 2, don't really play them all that much to be fair. A few more 360 games down there. Now I've got a lot more games in the other room, in boxes. This is literally the maximum I can fit in this room. It's only have my most played things in here really, so... And we'll move over here now, so we'll go past more candles. We've got an Ouya console there, uh, which I'm also planning to do a video on this very soon. Um, I mainly use this for emulation. So I've got a, uh, you know, original Nintendo emulator on there as well. I've been putting an Amiga one on recently. It's basically an Android, um, picture of a Nexus 7 console, Tegra 3 chipset, ARM processor, but without the monitor. So this is a controller for it. It's actually a touchpad on the controller, so... It's not a bad little gaming machine, actually. I've got that hooked up to this screen via HDMI. Uh, we've got two spare PS3 controllers there. Now, if we go behind here, little HDMI switch box there, a bunch of cables, a Raspberry Pi um, that you probably saw in my Risk OS video if you watched it. Generally, I've got Xbox Media Center on here, so I use that for YouTube with a wireless dongle there, so I can use a wireless mouse that I've showed you before, the one that's over there and uh, basically watch YouTube on the TV and do a lot more with it as well. There's a lot of plugins for XBMC, Revision 3 and Twitch and all that kind of thing. Uh, my launch PlayStation 3, this is an 80 gig model. Uh, replacement, I got it broke actually about a year ago. This is the second one. So this one's still working fine. Underneath there, we've got a PS2. Uh, it's been the 80 gig model. You can't play PS2 games on it. So I've got a PS2 with a memory card and a wireless adapter there so I can use a wireless control pad with, which is the uh, one behind there. Uh, this is a home theater, uh, just volume control on that really, that's all I use it for, for the speakers really. Underneath here in the cabinet, my Commodore CDTV, what have I been using on that lately? NASA the 25th year, pirated edition. Um, with a floppy disk drive there as well, a joystick behind there, it's got a Competition Pro hooked into there. Uh, an original Xbox down there too, as I do like me a little bit of a, you know, Halo 1 and Halo 2 with the Duke controller. What a beast. I do actually like that controller though. Uh, Sky Plus HD box in there too. And down there we've got my, that is actually a Roomba lighthouse. So that means that my robotic vacuum cleaner will not travel under here and get caught up in all the cables as it tends to do every now and then. I'll actually show you the Roomba if you like. Should be over here, it uh, did it hoovering a little bit earlier on. So there it is, charging up right now. Um, it is actually really good actually, I might do a video on this one day. But basically, you press the clean button on top. It will come out and it will clean your floors. It's got sensors all the way around the front, you know, it'll work its way all, all the way around the furniture. So we don't use it now, so I'll tell it to go back home. There we go, it should find its way back, I think, if I press dock. That's a charger for it down there. Girlfriend's sewing machine. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, you know, that saves me the job, but it was a whole house, that thing, it does pretty well, actually. 
Um, over here in the kitchen, I guess you're not interested in the oven and all that, but we have a Pure Evoke Flow um, internet radio that I've got tuned into Kistory right He's now. Just put some mushrooms and carrots. All just yeah, adverts on at the moment. Um, I did a review on this a few years ago. Pride of place in my kitchen now, still works really well. Um, but I'll show you that FM transmitter that I've got in the other room, actually. All right, so the FM transmitter's down there. Then if I go into my PC, I'll show you why I use that. Now, if we open this uh, little USB program in my dock, apologies, I'm doing all this handheld. I wasn't expecting to demo software, really. So a little audio transmitter program. Then I can open my uh, DJ software. Um, let's try that song, for example. So if I play that, you can hear some other headphones in here. I can have it on these speakers. I'll turn that down. Then if we nip back into the other room quickly, And I tune this in here, put it onto uh, FM mode, so on the menu there. It will tune into that transmitter in the other room and play music in here. So, you know, if we're just sitting outside, for example, I can put it on that radio too, it's got an FM receiver. So that's really what I use it for. I mean, I was originally looking for uh, Kind of you know doing it over IP, but to be fair, a little FM transmitter was by far the easiest way of doing it. Um, what else we got around here? My work bag here with my MacBook Pro 13 inch in that I've had at work today. So I'll show you what's in there quickly. Yeah, it's just a little carry case with yeah my MacBook Pro 13 inch in here, uh, and also a wireless magic uh, magic mouse I think that one is there's a 3DO sitting here it's a little bit random sitting there on the couch that's the most recent system I've acquired so um, yeah it's just I've been testing it out like today and yesterday so there's gonna be a video on that soon as well wanted one of these for years and finally got one so pretty happy with that um, and then outside little table and chairs set out here on the balcony uh, we've got allotments out the back as well so we never have to go far for uh, fresh fruit and vegetables. It's kind of the street and that down there as well. Satellite dish there. Um, another one there for Sky Plus HD. Free view antenna on the top. Light. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm scraping the barrel now. But there you go, that's kind of my uh, den setup if you like for 2013. And uh, look out for more videos from me soon. Do follow me on Twitter and Google Plus. I'll put all the links in the video description. See you again soon.